Hello everyone, Turtleags here, bringing you another AFK Journey video. Wow, a new trailer just released, basically going over Mikola's kit, as well as some exciting new updates coming up. So I haven't watched this video yet. Uh, some of my Discord members have been saying that, wow, these updates are actually pretty good. So let's take a look. Welcome to the arena. Some love the spotlight, while others enjoy mastering the stage. But for Mikola, it was her true love of the battle itself. Mikola is so beautiful. And we did play test Mikola earlier, and she's viable in a lot of the game modes, like Dream Realm. She's best in slot for Skyclops today, replaces Scarleta. And then she is also viable in Arena, in a Burial Comp, and we even tried her in a Diano Comp with some success. You can check out the previous video for that. When to excite the entire arena. Her skill, Heroic Duel, generates an honor arena in the center of the battlefield when a battle starts and until it ends. When the number of allies or enemies within the arena tips the balance, the real battle begins. By maintaining a team size advantage over a period, Mikola gains control of the arena. And when she does, Mikola increases all allies' attacks and restores health for each ally. The real show has begun, and things are about to get more exciting! Activating the third skill, Vigorous Call, Mikola rings her bell to heal herself and a two weakened ally, increasing their physical and magic defense for a period of time. With her ultimate skill, Dauntless Him, Mikola generates a Courage Sphere that follows her for a while. Allies within range gain increased haste and range defense. While Mikola herself oh, gets additional her ultimate and range defense. Animation S tier, for sure. Her, and when Mikola deals a certain amount of damage to enemies, a healing wave will emerge, restoring health for all allies within range. Okay, so that's what the healing wave looks it like. that a professional announcer must understand the battle and predict the outcome before the contestants do. When both sides are in a stalemate, Mikola doesn't hesitate to fan the flames, pushing the scene to a climax. Her exclusive skill, Passionate Opening, will enhance the Courage Sphere after a certain time. All allied heroes within range, except herself, will gain a combat fury effect. They will deal damage based on a certain percentage of her attack per second to enemies within a short range. The enhancements are reset when the now, current Now, from my appears. experience so far, her damage Even is not that ends, great. You can still see but she does a good job of buffing her, her allies. voice clear and bright. She is undoubtedly born to be an announcer. I hope to have Mikola visit the tavern someday to help host some events. It would surely bring some visitors here. Great idea! With the Crystal Clash coming up soon, this lively event is perfect for Mikola to commentate on. Hmm. These competitive Crystal Geos are indeed found all over the world. Ooh. It'll surely bring in some audience. That's a new yes. map, I think. Not only do you have to protect the Crystal Geos you've discovered, but you can also raid others. <sighs> crystal Look, Clash was a lot of fun. Of I, I'm glad that it's coming back. But I have a special trick. Oh. I've already found several hidden spots. It actually encouraged you to team up with videos, a friend. And it doesn't have to be a friend from your guild. It could be like a friend on your friend's You're list. Right. The dude crawler said Sahara has indeed been appearing frequently. It worries me. We need Magister Merlin to handle it in the Ravage Okay, this is the new boss. The Doom Crawler isn't ordinary. It takes several stages to defeat it. In the first stage, one of the four regions will open each day. Magister Merlin will receive rewards based on the damage dealt to the Doom Crawler in that region's you difficulty get Twilight and essences. the rank on the leaderboard. That's the first stage. What about the others? Valor in the second stage, rewards. called Ultimate Siege, all regions will be open at the same time, allowing us to team up and challenge the Doom Crawler together. I will cheer for everyone. Hmm. Good luck. Aren't you going to challenge it with Magister Merlin? Both you and Chippy are indispensable. So it looks like you can team up with uh, someone to fight that boss. I'm not sure, Chippy not sure how that would work, but that's pretty cool. Indeed. The real challenge this time is that each region has a limited number of heroes who can participate. Hmm. And as the difficulty increases, each region will require two teams. One with five heroes and one with three. Hmm. To take on the Dune Crawler. However, to ensure that factions not well suited for fighting the Doom Crawler can still participate, there will be damage amplification effects to make them stronger. These stages will be tough for everyone. Whoa, he one-shotted. I've already found out what rewards can be earned this time. Besides regular resources, Magister Merlin can obtain Abyssal Essence, Cosmetics, and Valor Awards. Abyssal Essence. Accumulating enough Valor Awards will also unlock a special frame. Then, after the ultimate siege ends, the Valor Store will open, offering beautiful 
Temporal essences, stellar crystals. After all, a ring orbs. Nice. Good rewards. I'm already worried about my debt again. No worries. I have some good news. The timeless gala in Hollowstone is coming to an end, and the ball is about to start. There should be quite a crowd. Yes, we should seize this opportunity to attract more customers. Hammy, lend a hand. Let's start cleaning the tavern and do some decorations. Can I add some pink green things? Wow. Okay, so that was really cool. So I think, you know, it looks like there will be more ways to get Twilight Essences, Temporal Essences, Stellar Crystals. They even have that special Abyssal Essence that is able to bring a hero past EX20. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work because I don't know if that Abyssal Essence will allow you to jump straight from level 20 to 25. Given that it is a ranking reward, that would make a lot of sense to me. That's effectively 125 Twilight Essences from that, so that's pretty nice. And then we're getting a Return of Crystal Clash, which was a very fun game mode. I liked it a lot. I know some of my viewers didn't like, like Crystal Clash, but uh, I thought, you know... I think that part of what makes AFK Journey such a great game is that there's so many different ways to compete against other people and having a PvP element that involves like a co-op mode where you know if you have a friend who you're close with who you want to team up with to just clear content with together and compete against other people uh, that's a great mode to do that in. So. Anyways, really excited for the, this new update, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video.